My name is Maxwell Blade, and I'm a professional entertainer. I've had the theater of magic here in Hot Springs for about 12 years. A few months ago, I was at home in my condo by myself. I lost my wife and children through a divorce, and uh, I prayed to God to send me something because I, I didn't feel His presence, and I was lost and and uh, just sailing my own ship. And I was caught up in a world of addiction and and uh, awful things, drug addiction and alcohol. And I got a call the next day from from a person from First Church of the Nazarene and asked me to come over and to perform a show for for the Easter program, and I certainly agreed to do so and when I arrived the next day and I met Stacy and Lewis for the first time I, and I told Lewis that day that it was an answer to a prayer and I felt God had sent me something that I'd prayed for as an answer to a prayer and uh, they just wrapped me up and I began to attend the church and they didn't uh, judge me uh, for my past or who I was or maybe rumors they had heard uh, they, they loved me in, in a godly way and that really attracted me to the church uh, because many times I think we're, we feel judged. And, you know, I wasn't judged, I was loved in, in a godly way. And uh, my, my children loved the church. My daughter was baptized here on, on April the 29th. And, it, and even at that, I made some mistakes that weren't becoming of me after that. And uh, Pastor Ken Carney has become a very dear friend of mine and has shown me the light and, and shown me what it's, it's like to have God sit in your life and let him sail your ship and, and give up your will as, as I've done and, and had to do in order to continue on even living. I think if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I would probably not be even alive today. But God allowed me to bring myself to my knees uh, through addiction and things that I, I shouldn't have been doing. And, and uh, I often thought he brought me to my knees. In, in essence, I brought me to my knees and now he, he lifts me up. And I have many talents that I've always used for the wrong reason. Uh, as well as the magic, I also write music and uh, I do it in honor of Jesus Christ now and, and my my focus now is not on me but what I can do to help other people who've been in my situation and the beauty of it is every night I have a venue at, at the end of my show I'm allowed to get up and to tell people that I'm a Christian and I can make an impression upon those little kids who come there and the adults who may be doing things in their life that aren't right and tell them there's a God that loves them and I've been singing one of my tunes called The Door that is recorded and it's just about a door we all come to and we can open it or we can just stand there. And I painted mine 10,000 times from red to gray and there's no lock and there's no key. All you gotta do is just give it a knock. There's no lock and he's waiting there for you. And uh, today I'm free and I live a happy, joyous life. Even though I'm still in the midst of a storm, I praise him in the storm and I thank him for what he's done with my life. And I know one day he'll restore my family. And I love this church and it's changed my life. There's a door we all come to. Do you open it or just stand there? Open up that door.